Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey folks, welcome back. I'm glad you're here again. So today I want to do some embellishments. I'm going to do hearts because I'm in a Facebook group, Heart Art, where we do a swap. We have to make one to four hearts for a swap and I decided I'm going to do it from paper and embossing powders. I also going to probably use some ink, maybe some wax, metallic wax and um, micro powders. I'm going to use the stamp and I have here a whole lot of different kinds of embossing powders. There are the coarse embossing powders or the ultra thick embossing or ultra high. There are different names for the same product. It's basically it's a, a larger particle than the fine and the ultra fine. And here we even have a distress. I have some with glitter and that's just a plain fine embossing powder. So I'm gonna mix and match them. I don't want the hearts all be the same, same type, but I want some variation. So I'm gonna play with the embossing powders a little bit. So I'm gonna make me a little bit of room and then I'm gonna start the process. So now I want my uh, hearts a little bit uh, sturdy. I don't have chipboard hearts, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these leftovers, lightweight, um, watercolor paper and I think I'm gonna take fear four at once and gonna run it through my because it's a steel rule die it can handle this easily and I'm just gonna cut out four sets of hearts If you don't have those kind of machinery, you also could use uh, like uh, punches. And maybe we even have already chipboard hearts that would work too. Now, next I want to glue them together. So if I glue those pieces together, they are much more sturdier. They more resemble like a chipboard. I use tacky glue. Just make sure that you have glue everywhere. Now I'm gonna do that with all my four hearts which I need in the end and then I will be back. So my next step is to add gesso from both sides. It is important that you put it from both sides so it prevents a little bit the bending that you can get when you use uh, embossing powders afterwards. And I even do the sides a little bit and as you see I just use my finger. <laughs> one side and then let it dry. To speed up the process I'm gonna use the heat tool and I'm gonna do the back side and then I will be back. So my hearts are nice and dry. I'm going to start with the embossing process and um, you decide which side you want. The other side we're probably going to have to paint because there's no way how you, how you can avoid having a little bit of a mess on the back side. So I'm 
make sure that I have enough embossing ink. And I start with the cores. I want rather a big layer of embossing powders melting on my heart. And I have like this tool here to help me pick it up. Any tool will do. And as you can see, I work on, on a stone. I have these stones which you use like in the pizza ovens, so they're really heat resistant. And I did use some of these felt self-adhesive uh, circles. So I really like to work on that with those kind of projects. And I already made a mess here. <laughs> you probably can't see it, but I have powders already everywhere. Um, for those who do the first time embossing, uh, you need a heat tool and you start by checking whether it is hot or not. You want the heat as quickly as possible on your powders so they start to melt. And I have approximately, yeah I usually do it like this, I have my elbow which is approximately, how much is that, six, seven, eight inches, eight inches about. Uh, a far from the powder. You do it from the top, right from the top. I want you to see it a little bit, so I do it more sideways. If you don't have to do a video, do it right from the top, but that way you wouldn't see a thing, you know. Let it cool down. We're going to do several layers of embossing powders. And the first layer I just used the plain thick embossing powder or ultra high embossing powder. But I'm soon going to start with still too warm. I have to put it again into my embossing ink. doesn't stick no longer. I also make this time I make sure that I have the sides which sometimes is a little bit difficult with the corners. Okay and then the whole heart again. Grab my paper again and the thing is when you mix your powders you're gonna end with a mixture. I do, it doesn't bother me that much. I'm gonna uh, collect it in a separate container so I have an already mixed powder at one point. So let's start with this and maybe a little bit of purple. some red. I have the idea if I wave it a little bit it cools off quicker. <laughs> I'm not sure but I Everybody does it. It 
can st still be warm when you use the ink again, but it can't be sticky, which is the case here. Now I want to add this Chinese thread too, and the it's a glitter here, so whenever you have a glitter or something different particles, you shake it first so you have it then even dispersed. And then I go with the leftover again. As you see, you have already getting stuff on the back side, but that's okay, we're gonna deal with that later. Now, my final layer is gonna be purely this orange. I want the colors to melt a little bit more together. same time I make my stamp ready means I oh I have to zoom you out now okay I have my stamp here on the side I have already sprinkled powders on to the heart and you have to work quick I'm gonna use Taysom which dries quick to stamp inside to the whole mass of embossing powders we have here, melted embossing powders. Sometimes the color catches up, sometimes you only get the impression. It's all depending on how quick you can work. It's not always the same, even for me not. So I'm gonna leave that on here. Okay, I'm gonna move that a little bit while I'm heating up. And don't worry, rubber stamps can handle the temperature, but only rubber stamps. Don't use polymer stamps. Only the rubber, rubber stamps can handle the heat. until it is cool or not sometimes I'm gonna zoom you in again now I have a tint of purple in my heart but not a lot so I'm probably gonna work on it also with some um, waxes and whatnot so there is one version From now on I'm gonna speed up the process and you got get the idea. The only thing that's gonna be different, I'm maybe gonna add some uh, mica powders and for the waxes that's gonna be at the end anyway. So let's speed up the process.
Now I'm gonna mount, mount them on some ETCs just because I can but I also want to enhance a little bit the pattern so I have a black wax here and I try to hit mostly the deep parts and I also go along the edge maybe I even gonna go in with the black marker later on I don't know yet I think I'm better off with one of those stencil brushes to really get into the crevices. It's a permanent marker and I think that goes much quicker than with the wax. So if you don't have a black wax, you could use a black acrylic paint, you sort of dab it onto the pieces and then also use a paper towel to rub off from the raised areas. Now I'm gonna mount, mount those things and then I will be back. It's as simple as, and by the way, it's from packaging. Now to glue on the hearts I would use a tacky glue. And I'm gonna use a heavy book to give some pressure so it really sticks. I will be back when I have all four. So here we are with four similar but somewhat different hearts. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care, bye!